Police tonight, three men are dead after getting caught in a rip current in Panama City Beach. The Bay County Sheriff's Office says those young men, all from Birmingham, went swimming around 8 p.m. on Friday night when they were swept away. Today, I spoke to a family who saw them being pulled from the water. Bright lights flooding Panama City Beach Friday night as crowds packed the shoreline, desperately searching for any sign of three missing swimmers. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of lights, there was helicopter in the air with the spotlight, there was boats out there. The Bay County Sheriff's Office says they received a call around 8 p.m. of three distressed swimmers. Last seen behind the Watercrest condos on Thomas Drive between the first and second sandbar near Schooner's Restaurant. We were right, right there. there. Yeah. Taylor Homan and Lacey Stoker, vacationing from Illinois, saw the search party and jumped in to help. We noticed a couple people had bright flashlights, were assisting, so we decided we also had a bright one, so we figured that we would help also. Bay County Sheriff Tommy Ford says the men were found separately during the hours-long search and died at local hospitals despite rescue efforts. Sheriff Ford releasing the names of the victims all from Birmingham. 25-year-old Harold Denzel Hunter, 24-year-old Jamonda Ray, and 24-year-old Marius Richardson. Sheriff Ford saying, quote, I witnessed so many people, including visitors to our community, come together last night on the beach to desperately search for them. I worry about the emotional toll that these situations take on first responders as I know I'm struggling with it as well. They have my utmost respect as I know they are suiting up again today to keep our citizens and visitors safe. Single red flags were flying at the time of the drownings. Being from the Midwest and not as familiar with Gulf waters, Homan and Stoker say it's vital to know the beach flags. I learned about the beach flags when I arrived on the beach. Yeah, I, I've been to the beach a lot, so I knew about them, but I mean, even to just be a red flag, people think like, oh, it's not double, we can still get in the water. And here they are. Double red flags mean waters are close to the public. Single red flags signify a high current. Yellow flags mean the waters are moderate. And green flags indicate the water is calm and safe to enjoy. Purple flags warn of dangerous marine life, like sharks or jellyfish. But despite the flag color, always exercise caution. When people say like when it's just one red flag, like knee deep is too deep, like I, I get that now. And just a deadly week on Florida beaches as the three drownings come just one day after a 19 year old man from Oklahoma was swimming under single red flags behind the Sharky's restaurant on Panama City Beach when he got caught in a rip current and died.